Here are all the items you'll need to do a Who Farmer application. The dispenser, the cartridge, nozzles, a wire brush or some other stiff brush, plus some talcum powder. And the nozzle goes into the cartridge like that and then just snaps closed. Then you unscrew the cap and add one of the nozzles. When you go to apply Who Farmer, you want to squeeze the trigger of the dispenser gently because otherwise it, it, it comes out quickly and the best thing to do is just squeeze it gently till you get a feel for it. Now here David's cleaning off, this horse has just been trimmed, and David's cleaning off any excess material because Who Farmer adheres to whatever it comes in contact with. Here you can see the, the Who Farmer being applied, a thin bead, frog, heel bulbs, sole, and then David uses gloved hand to spread it. It gets spread very thinly. The thinner the better. You don't want it to go on thickly because if it goes on thickly it will peel. Then once you're done with that, then it's a liberal application of the talcum powder so that you can put the hoof down onto a concrete floor or a mat and keep it from smearing. You'll need a second nozzle or you'll need a nozzle for each hoof quite possibly because the hoof armor will end up curing in the nozzle. So here's the other front foot again being cleaned off all the excess material. This is being applied after a fresh trim, although you can apply hoof armor during a trail ride or during an endurance ride, wherever you need it, you just need to um, clean off any excess material and then apply the hoof armor. So there's a, a new nozzle on there, and again, he's squeezing it gently so that he can get some hoof armor onto the hoof. It's going on the frog, on the heel bulbs. And hoof armor is exothermic, so it actually does bond to the outermost layer. It goes on very thinly. So it's not just a coating. It actually becomes a part of the hoof. I get questions about, is it still on? And quite possibly by wetting the hoof, you'll still see that it's still on. If there isn't wear, then you know that the hoof armor is still doing its job. Okay, here we are again, putting a new tip on, getting ready to apply hoof armor to one of the hind feet. And it's a freshly trimmed hind foot. Cleaning it off, making sure anything that's extra is removed because hoof armor will stick to, adhere to whatever it comes in contact with, which includes your clothes, includes your hands, fingers. Uh, here it is going on the frog on the sole, a little bit on the heel bulbs. Um, I've had people call me and say, how do I get it off my hands? And I'm like, um, you just have to give it some time uh, to wear off, which is what you want. You want the hoof armor to, um, to adhere to the hoof and to be able to stand wear. All right. Okay, here we go with hoof number four. And again, freshly trimmed um, with the recommended hoof armor natural trim which doesn't pair the sole it leaves the sole as intact for the most part actually it's just rasps it's rest so anyway we're applying to the frog we're applying to the heel bulbs again squeezing very gently um, using the gloved hand to spread the hoof armor And then we're going to apply the talcum, and then we can put the hoof down.